Is that a microphone? Is on? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Hi. webinar. Uh, today's webinar is all about uh, introduction to HRM system. Uh, my name is Makudu Rahman. I'm working as a product manager on ERP. Uh, today, I'm pleased to have a few to announce that uh, I'm accompanied with one of my colleagues uh, supporting uh, us uh, in the beginning. So, Mehdi, do you like to introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, I'm Mehdi Hassan, support engineer, WP ERP. I will main, mainly uh, be conducting the uh, QA session. So, I already got some of your questions while uh, you have submitted while registering. So, I will try to cover all of them. Also, uh, if you if you get any uh, question uh, in between the in between the session, so feel free to ask them as well. Uh, we will answer them all. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Uh, before I start, I have uh, some few uh, housekeeping items to cover uh, for this presentation. Uh, firstly, today's <coughs> webinar will be uh, on demand, uh, so uh, we will we'll be recording this show. And you can, uh, it will be this will be available uh, on YouTube later on. Uh, next, I'd like to hear from you uh, guys during the session. Uh, if you have any question, please feel free to ask us through the chat box down below there. Uh, we will answer the question at the end of the session. And if you, if we do not get the question during the session, we'll be in touch with you later on. So. So shall we get going then? Uh, if you guys can allow me, I, I, I want to start uh, the demonstration here. Okay, we can proceed then. Okay, let's start from, uh, let me share my screen here. Uh, we have a, a small presentation. So as you mentioned, uh, me and my Mehdi will do the uh, session here. Uh, we already introduced ourselves. So I guess in this part is uh, covered. So what is the agenda for today's webinar? It's, it's basically to give you some background of the uh, WWERP and step-by-step -step demo demonstration uh, on the WWERP. And also, we have a Q and a session, and the very last uh, part of the webinar uh, uh, that will be contacted by media, as we mentioned. <clears throat> so, why we use ERP? ERP is basically improve the collaboration and providing the real time information and data, uh, allow and increase the productivity and simple estimation and quotation, and 360 view feedback, uh, 360 views of the business operation, what's going on around you, uh, that sort of thing shows in your. Uh, for the ERP, provide the stimulus integration and improve customer services and obviously uh, promote cutting edge uh, operation cost. Uh, I would like to request you if you uh, can mute your uh, microphone, that will be great. Okay. okay, let us do it from here. Uh, I guess. No, yes. Minus participant. Okay. Mm -hmm. This two. Not yes. Yes, please. Okay. Let's let's start how the uh, what will be covered during the uh, session so we we'll, we have uh, we have we have uh, three parts in our erp system like uh, hrm system crm system and accounting uh, we will be covering uh, three consecutive uh, sessions uh, so today's session will be hrm we have another show on uh, February, uh, sometime middle in the February, that is 17th of February. And another one is the uh, accounting, that will be March, uh, beginning of the March. Uh, I guess it's the second week of the March. 
so we'll be in touch all of you uh, how <coughs> the session, when the session contact so in the se HRM session uh, uh, what we'll be covering today the employee department designation announcements and uh, leave management and the reports we have some extensions uh, like a payrolls account training asset management uh, attendance uh, custom field builders we'll try to cover the most of the uh, thing today as it's a huge uh, volume of uh, items we need to show you. So we'll try to cover maximum uh, maximum items. Just to remind you, we yeah. got only 40 minutes. So yeah, yeah, we, we have, have to cover the whole I know, I know. The So time. we have basically 25 minutes uh, for this cover this session and also 10 minutes for the you know, Q Q and a session. So we'll try to cover back as, uh, as, as maximum item as possible. So, let me introduce uh, let, let me uh, uh, share about a uh, few uh, more items that a uh, few more features that will be coming up in uh, okay. upcoming days uh, just a minute uh, sure. i'm interrupting you before going to the upcoming features in uh, hrm uh, it should, i should mention that lots of people are asking map uh, or what we are going to uh, to uh, to be done in the next six months so uh, I think uh, this would add value to them, or this will uh, answer them. What we are uh, uh, doing doing at this moment? <clears throat> Absolutely, yeah. So what, down the line, we have uh, leave management, we have payroll, we have asset management, asset tracking system, uh, asset tracking features coming up. So uh, we we do have a leave management system, but uh, we we are trying we are trying to introduce some more, few more features that is very much. Uh, uh, important item from the, what we what we received from the customers I mean the clients so we thought that we give a little thought that why don't we use that and uh, give more features to the customer that brings more value to the customer the customer business so like you said the lead management payroll is coming uh, we have asset management uh, coming up in, in, in a couple of months or so So do you want to say something about that? Okay, uh, I, uh, I just want to add here, uh, I got uh, a lots of pizza request for this. Uh, you can see here, half daily request. Mm -hmm. So people were asking that they uh, sometimes uh, request that they have policy for the hub the leave, leave system right so uh, i think finally we are uh, going to consider yeah, this yeah, and this is great yeah absolutely uh, also we also receive a lot of requests to uh, for leave carry for our leave attachment yeah, this sort also, of features yeah. is very much huge demanded so. yeah yeah so we, we give it a thought our business team and our uh, development team product development team also work on that very much uh, and they thought uh, why don't you introduce uh, um, uh, to this possible time, so I guess it's it will be on live and two months and so. So let's start with the demonstration here. So before we start, uh, I know I, I I don't think we I need to explain or I need to give a little background on the WordPress. I believe all of you know about the. Uh, 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 what this so uh, uh, what this WP ERP is available on why what this uh, if you go to the I mean it's available on the uh, yeah. uh, plugin directory Pl on Pl 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 exactly so just you can you can uh, search uh, with the name WP ERP yeah. and, uh, and install in a, just in a single click right right so whenever you install it, it you will see uh, menus on here uh, that like the CRM, HRM, and the accounting. So as we discussed, we'll be uh, going through the HR today. So I'll not go to that CRM part and accounting part. I will be starting on the HRM part. So whenever you go to the HRM, you will see that the real dashboard here, like uh, the HR, this dashboard basically shows the glimpse of the what's going on in the business. I mean, uh, in HR, uh, in the human resource policy or something like that. Like how many employees is there, how many departments, how many, what are the designations are here. Uh, it can show, it will show the, in the widget, it will show the upcoming budgets, 
like uh, I'm a great fan of cricket, so we have a cricket player's name up here. Uh, we have uh, who is out for next month and so upcoming holidays, uh, this month's holidays, next month's holidays. We we'll have uh, if we have a contactual employee that will show up here in this widget, like whose contact will be over and uh, in this current month or in a few months and so. Also, we show the attendance system. Uh, it basically shows the. I'll show you later on how the how the attendance system should, uh, looks like here. And also, you can have a man checking system, checkout system. It, it's it's a responsive one, so you can do it from the mobile phone. So you, you employee can do that. You employee can use that for, through the phone. So as a HR manager, uh, what you have to do first, you have to you, you want to you want to create your employee first. Uh, we have a employee section here, like in add new section. If you want to add a new employee, you can add it uh, through this, uh, you know, the mandatory fields. Uh, if you want to add more information, that can also shows up here. So all the information, whenever you uh, fill up the information. The employee comes as a as uh, as a list on um, here. We have we do have few status for the employee, like uh, inactive, active, terminated, uh, uh, decided, resigned, and a trash. That's all come up in different tabs. Like we said here, uh, that basically helps to sort out or um, sort out yeah. the uh, employees based on their types. So um, uh, when you have a huge number of employees, let's say a thousand or two thousand, so um, it, it, it helps to uh, sort them out. Right. Uh, I got a question from uh, Dustin. Uh, Dustin, surely we will reply them uh, just after uh, completing the demonstration. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay, uh, then we go to the departments. Departments basically shows like how many departments you have. It's, you need to fill up few informations here. Like you, you, you may have the software department, engineering depa uh, uh, departments, uh, things like that. Uh, you, can, uh, you can add department leads, who is the reporting boss uh, for this department, something like that, that can be added from here. Uh, and it can also have the parent department, like the HR department, uh, maybe, administration department under the parent, HR department under the administration department. So that sort of parent department can be also, uh, can be created from here. Yeah. Uh, just to mention, I'm sorry for interrupting. No, no uh, These the department leads are also employed. Right. So uh, you can set one employee to a department lead. Right. So the every other employees inside the, inside the department right. will be reporting to that particular employee. Yeah. That's sort of like a tree. Uh, you have a parent and you have a child. So that's sort of parent and child relationship. Yeah. So uh, before we go to the payroll, we need to uh, we need to sort out the designation. I I believe the designation uh, we all understand uh, the designation designation is very uh, they also sort of like filling up your information. Uh, whenever you create any uh, employee, uh, you need to fill up this. You need to create this department at designation at, at the beginning. Then you can create the employee. Like you can put them in designation. You can you can add the departments, and then that's the, that's the way you can create the employee. Uh, we we also have a payroll. Payroll is basically a paid extension. Uh, shall I go to the uh, extension first, or shall I go to the the business? Yeah, sure, we can go. Okay, go. so I'll go to the extension later on, maybe. Okay. okay I, I, then I will uh, let me uh, let me introduce the what's come with the with the budget. with the code plugin. Code plugin, yeah. So announcement sort of thing. Announcement is the sort of thing like uh, like uh, we have uh, what can I mean uh, we have each probably uh, this is a test announcement. Uh, this I this I made earlier. Okay, just to mention, yeah. it's basically a two-way communication between the HR managers and the employee. employee. Like say. Uh, you as a HR manager uh, would like to uh, announce something to all of your employees. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, um, publish this announcement. Uh, so uh, the announcement will be show all the uh, all the employees. Uh, you can also uh, filter with the people like say if you have any announcement for any particular department. So you can publish the announcement to the particular department only. Mm -hmm. 
and the employee uh, and, uh, um, uh, have on that particular uh, department will get that uh, announcement only. Exactly. So you can create on and so, show them. Yeah, that, that's the thing. That's the announcement here, title here. You can give a description. You can, uh, like maybe mention like the announcement too. You can has you can give this announcement to all the employees. It can be selected from departments designations, and even even uh, particular employees, selected employees. You can give them the this announcement to that particular person. So. This is the announcement. This is the announcement thing. As Mehdi mentioned, announcement is basically one-to-one -one communication. I mean, uh, the employee to uh, HR manager communication stuff. Like everyone knows when the, when the holiday is coming, if there any any sort of uh, announcement going on in, in the organization, that sort of thing. Um, that sort of message can be conveyed through the announcement. Well, uh, Leap management. I'm um, starting the leap management. Leap management. I believe this is the very important part yeah. for HRM system. Everyone who wants to use the HRM, they always ask for, like, do you have a leap management stuff? Uh, yes, we do have a leap management. As we mentioned, we have uh, we are working on a few more features. Uh, that's on the pipeline. But before we go, uh, uh, what we have here right now, that's what that what we want to show. Uh, leap management is basically uh, user can user can I mean the every each and every employee can uh, request for a leave from their portal and also on behalf of the employee the HR manager can request uh, from here here is a request that means that the HR manager can uh, can uh, leave uh, is, uh, HR manager can uh, create leave request uh, leave in, favor request of the, in favor of the particular employee, like say if he, he is uh, or she is unable to create the leave request and right. at this moment or, or he, if uh, he is uh, unavailable. Yeah. So he can uh, manually or uh, over phone contact with the manager so that managers can create leave request uh, in favor of them. Yeah. So I'll also let me jump onto the uh, one employee's profile. That will be better, uh, that will make better sense maybe. So I'm 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 logging in as a my profile. It's basically an employee view. Right. So I'm I was showing in the HR view. Now I'm showing as the employee view. I'm as an employee. I want to request for a leave. That I can create from here. Let's say I want to I want to set a date on February second. Let's say put it in February third. So that's probably one day leave. Uh, if I take leave, if I request this leave from here, that shows like how many days uh, leave is available here. Let's say the reason uh, traveling. Maksud, I would like to add something. Sure. Uh, the annual leave type you are selecting here mm -hmm. uh, is basically coming from your company leave policy right you first need to create the leave policy as a hr manager right. and based on this policy and based on the leave policy entitlement mm -hmm. employee can create uh, leave request right. i got question from the user that uh, the employee uh, cannot uh, request for the leave mm -hmm. they uh, most of the case I, cases i found uh, they have not created the leave policy exactly. they have not entitled them so the employee uh, was not getting them. So before, if you like, would like to uh, let your employee create the leave request, so you must need to create the leave, uh, leave policy and leave entitlement first as a ASAN manager. Right. So we will uh, show, show that. Uh, yeah, we will show that eventually. Uh, like this is the leave request I, I, as an employee, I like to apply. So I applied for a leave and let's see. Yeah, submit process. Let's see what happened to the admin panel. So I go to the leave request. The leave request. This is the same button I uh, used earlier. Uh, here is a dashboard. I applied for annual leave. I have option for uh, approve or reject for this leave. As soon as I approve this one, it goes under this step. So that means that uh, my leave ha request has been approved and it goes on to the my profile uh, as well as an employee profile that my request has been approved by the HR manager. So, like Mehdi mentioned, uh, before we leave, uh, create and uh, apply for any sort of leave request, we need to create the policy at the beginning. 
So to create a leave policy here, we need to uh, fill up some information. Let's say here is, uh, let's assume that this leave request has not been made. Uh, leave request, leave entitlement, uh, leave has not been created earlier. So let's say this is annual leave. I put a description here, how many days, days I want to uh, uh, go for the annual leave. Let's say it's a casual leave, I guess. Okay, yeah, let's, let's put in a casual leave. So I, I put in the 10 days, I, I can select the calendar, I can select the departments, uh, I can select uh, designation as well. Uh, also for the location, uh, if a leave request can be a gender basis, like the maternity leave, paternity leave, this sort of leave also uh, can be selected. While I create the leave policy, I need to select this one from here as well. And uh, we have option for the how many uh, immediately apply uh, apply after hiring. Also, after uh, we can put a date like when do you want to uh, apply this leave policy, like a sixty days, thirty days. It depends on total. It depends on your policy, company policy. I think we, get, we need to go a little bit faster. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is how the leave policy is created here. And as soon as you uh, uh, create a policy, you need to uh, leave. Uh, you need to leave. You need to uh, entitle the leave. Entitle the leave. So then we go to the payroll. Do you want me to show in detail of further? Or uh, I think, I it's, I think it's, it's okay. Just uh, but, but two main uh, concern here: yeah, leave sure. policy first, and after creating the leave policy. Leave entitlement. Right. Uh, mind, uh, how many days you want to? How many employees you want to as uh, entitled uh, this uh, policy for? Mm -hmm. So uh, this is basically everything. Uh, after creating the leave policy, you need to just entitle the leave mail, and mm -hmm. the employee will be uh, able to uh, create the leave request. And just here, uh, one thing is left is uh, holidays. This holidays is uh, calendar-wise company holidays, like mm -hmm. your government holidays, your uh, company holidays, any other holidays. If yeah. you um, input them uh, in, in just um, starting of the year, so uh, the employee will be able to see their on their calendar the upcoming uh, holidays and the uh, government holidays or, or any any other holiday. Like, on their like you. Like, like, like. I mean, you were talking about like the government holidays, like uh, Easter Sunday. Yeah, any, uh, any, 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 any kind of like holiday. This, this sort of like, thing always be. Uh, you already uh, have yeah. one here, like uh, National Children's Day here, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, on this month, or uh, uh, it we will have be next, next February. Yeah. No, uh, first, 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 first February. February. So it will be shown like this. Yeah, the International Mother Tongue, Mother Language Day. Yeah. So 30, 25, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the employee will be able to see this. Yeah. Okay, we can go to the payroll. Okay, uh, let's start your payroll here. Uh, we need to go really fast. We have 10 minutes to cover. Uh, so we have to uh, go really fast here. So payroll, we can put a payroll calendar, pay calendar here. Like we can create a pay calendar. It can be month, it can be weekly, it can be uh, bi-weekly uh, and under that. Let's say it's weekly. Under that, you can add a employee. Which department you want to add here? That that department names and employee names will be come up here. Software departments. Do you mean something wrong? Oh, we created the uh, weekly we one. Oh, weekly we have already created the weekly one. That's why you're not so right. But we can edit this one. We can see the employee name here up here so you can uh we have already 30 30 minutes 10, 10 minutes left mm -hmm. i guess i'm going to see okay so payroll payroll we have to run the payroll here like like we mentioned Pay calendar, pay calendar. Okay, basically, uh, here is the, here is the pay uh, pay calendar. Uh, it supports three types of pay pay calendar at this moment: uh, weekly, biweekly, and monthly. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I, we have already uh, three types of uh, pay calendar created already. So you just need to run the after um, run the pay run uh, each month. You don't need to create the pay calendar every month. It's just one time creation. Okay. So uh, when you run the payment, it will take the uh, all the employee uh, in, um, that that has been taken on that on that uh, pay calendar. So it the uh, employee basic pay payment uh, information the amounts uh, will get from their profile directly so you don't need to um, uh, add them uh, on each, each page time you just need to uh, select the Dead date range from when to when you, you would like to pay or uh, um, uh, the time frame you like to pay so after uh, um, selecting the date term you can uh, insert the variable payments as well like if you have any additional payment for that particular employee, Saki or uh, for the particular employee, Masha uh, for each individual employees. And after completing the um, variable inputs, just uh, you can uh, go forward and um, uh, check, uh, print the pay slips. So uh, after checking the pay, pay slips. Now there is a pay slip up here. Yeah, yeah, it can be printed here. Okay, everything is uh, fine. We are final. This is the final check, and you can finally approve here. <clears throat> and then we can uh, check the pay uh, payroll reports here. Pay, uh, payroll report can be checked by uh, employee based and the summary based. Yeah. So here is something that reports something looks like this. Okay, uh, let's let's crack on to the next one. Uh, we have asset management. Asset management is basically like the, the, whenever you recruit someone, you need to distribute the uh, the laptop, stationary items, things like that. That's what you need to manage from here. Uh, we also have. Uh, I, I need really need to go a little bit faster. Yep. We have uh, already uh, seven minutes. Yep. Yeah. So we have a training here. Uh, training is something like like whenever you create a. Uh, you can assign a training to uh, partic uh, to particular user, particular group, things like that. Uh, department. Uh, if, the, if I say in one words, it's basically uh, you as a as a manager create uh, training and assign uh, those training to the employee. And yeah. when employee employees uh, are done that are done with the with the training, they can mark it as are done. So as a as a manager, as a ASR manager, you can track them uh, if the employees are. I completed their assigned training right or not right so attendance also or, uh, let's jump onto the attendance attendance can be uh, attendance is shown up here like you can you can give the manual attendance here right so also as i mentioned like the, as an employee you can also put the uh, uh, attendance through the system like a manual uh, checking like Let's switch on to. The, I need to show you this one really quick, otherwise. Uh, okay. While uh, while you are switching to the employee, I just want to uh, mention that uh, in the previous version of attendance system, uh, it was not offering the you know, multi check in, multi check out feature. Mm -hmm. So it was a huge demanded uh, feature. Uh, so many people asked for the multi check in, check out feature. So I'm really um, happy. Uh, to uh, uh, say you that again, uh, we bought the multi check in, multi check out feature, so it's available with the uh, latest uh, um, attendance extension. Okay, thanks, Mehdi. And now, this is this is how the attendance system shows like it uh, looks like. Like, let's say I'm checking at the 4 8 uh, 49 p.m., and my working hour is like, like 39 hours, uh, 39 minutes, something like that. So, we don't have much time, so I need really need to go really quick. Uh, Shall I shall I start the Q and A session? Uh, yes, we can um, start the Q and A session, and mm -hmm. I think we can um, resume the uh, resume the session if uh, um, people would like to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like to have the this session uh, longer than fourteen minutes, so we can uh, take a five minutes or the three minutes rest. Uh, so and start it again if you allow us so. Okay, guys, do you have, uh, let's start for the Q&A session first. Uh, we have some other things to discuss, but uh, before we go to that part, I, I would like to request you, uh, if you have any question, you can ask it down there. Okay. Uh, before going to the uh, preset questions that people have asked already, 
I would like to answer uh, to Dustin's question. Uh, Dustin asked, asked, does add new employee create a WordPress user? Yes, uh, it creates a WordPress user as well. So uh, it basically, you as an employee, you need an account to log in, to provide checkout, to check your things, your profile. So yes, it creates a uh, WordPress uh, user yeah, with the employee uh, user role. Okay, uh, one asked, can we move the attendance self-service above? uh yes it's very much possible but uh you just uh, need to ask our support to uh, yeah. uh take it above for you yeah just he, he, he wants to move it from uh, bottom uh, bottom part to yeah uh, i also um, um, thought also once like uh, it, it would be very helpful for uh, in case people employees are checking and checking from the mobile it would be it, 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 it is scroll down yeah yeah, yeah 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 if we take it to the top, uh, in, uh, at least for the mobile devices, that would be very um, convenient. Well, uh, I have a few questions to ask my uh, I While I was, during the registration session, we have a few questions to ask you. Uh, we have received few questions from the client, I mean, uh, audience. So let's, let's discuss something like, Okay, is there one of the uh, um, participants asked us before, is there any way to edit the top menu name or add new menu categories or sub menu categories and the pages? Okay, uh, edit like this, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, top menus are not editable. I mean, by default, mm -hmm. you know, everything in the uh, WordPress can be customized, editable, but it's not possible to add uh, subcategories or subcategories um, by default. Mm -hmm. So you might need uh, some uh, tweak in this. Okay, great. Thanks, Nadi. Uh, we, I have another question to ask you. I guess this is the last question I can, uh, if I don't, uh, time doesn't sure. permit me. Yeah, I have uh, uh, two more questions here. So <laughs> to get it faster. Okay. Uh, I will focus on the, yeah, we will uh, looking for learn some session. Okay, we need to recurring functionalities on the accounting module. I, I guess we will not covering in this part um, here today. At this cover? point, uh, it has basically, uh, having uh, invoicing system in recurring is basically, uh, is in the, uh, we have in the technical limitations. Mm -hmm. But uh, honestly, I am just saying it honestly, but uh, we're very close to finding a solution on this. Uh, our 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 senior tech uh, tech team uh, have investigated on this or uh, analyzed on this on this previously. Okay. So uh, so far, I can say uh, we may have a, a very good news in the near future. Okay. Guys, uh, the call may be hang up in a few minutes. Uh, do you mind to join back again? Uh, for yeah, five minutes? we are available if you if you people uh, like to um, continue this conversation. But before uh, hanging up. Uh, can you record sickness slip? Yes, of course, John. You can have the sickness slip. You just need to create the policy for this. Uh, actually, ask the extension are all monthly paid or yearly. It's, it's yearly based subscription. Okay, Dustin, can we team the set up a time to talk privately? Sure, Dustin, you can uh, take a, a, a private schedule for us. You can uh, email us to support at wperp.com. I will uh, provide you the direct link to have a personal meeting. And did you guys say when we are the employee, they get log into the credentials or usually got the credentials? Uh, they get their credentials over the email. They, uh, they get a link to set up their uh, user account with the passwords. Uh, uh, guys, uh, we just have less than a minute to uh, hang up this call. Uh, we are available here. We will join uh, just after two minutes, uh, just hanging up this uh, call. So if you have time or if you, ha if you are available to join us back, so just uh, end this end this meeting and you know, join us uh, back after two. Follow minutes. the same link. Yeah, yeah, just the just the same way you. Grand birthday discount in April. So I believe if you want if you want to buy uh, if you want to uh, if you are interested on this it, this is a good time to purchase uh, this ERP. Uh, we have the Super Bowl and the Valentine's Day discount in February. So next 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 month. So I believe you, you definitely grab this opportunity. We also have the promotional activities going on on the um, Women's Day Holy, Holy and uh, we just part their discounts in March. So these are the very good these are the very good opportunity to uh, purchase uh, this uh, ERP. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, uh, Maksud, do you have any other uh, question to ask? Yeah, them? definitely. We have we have plenty of questions to ask. Sure. So, I believe that we have answered the question. Let's let's this uh, let's ask this question you again. Uh, do you subscribe only give the uh, only give contribution of a single extension in the lower uh, lowest price? Uh, yeah, basically, uh, when you charge the single extension, mm -hmm. it costs cost you. Uh, mass than the uh, than the uh, bundle package. Right. Bundle package are basically uh, uh, came with the concept to provide the uh, lower price uh, to the uh, customers. Right. Let's say we have 23 extensions total. Right. So if you uh, buy 23 extensions individually, it will cost you more than um, two thousand right. dollars. So uh, which uh, we think is a is a big amount for the for the users. Uh, we came up with a solution for, uh, with this. Mm -hmm. We uh, offer a combined package. It's called Complete ERP, right. uh, which includes the total 23 extension. Uh, mm -hmm. It costs only $1,099. Okay, it's, nice. it's, it's almost 50% less. Almost yeah, less. yeah, that's that's the whole bundle thing. Like, uh, it, it will have all the features uh, with this price. Uh, I have another question to ask you, Mehdi, again. Uh, how much, there's basically this, this person is looking for, for customization, I guess. So I, let me ask you the question. The how much per man day is charged for the customization? Uh, basically, uh, as a company, we have an in-house team. Basically, mm -hmm. we provide customization from the core WP ERP team. Right. We generally charge $100 per hour. But uh, I would recommend to send us a complete project proposal as it costs less if you have a com uh, project. I mean, if you have a custom project, mm -hmm. so you can send us a complete project proposal uh, uh, that will uh, surely cost you less. Uh, I would suggest you to send a complete project proposal rather than going to a, a, with the hourly layers. Yeah, so you said basically, how can you- uh, I, how, I, I, how, I was being honest actually. Yeah, I understand. Now, how they can reach you? Are there, how, how they can reach us basically if they are interested on the customization doing any customization project how they can reach us okay uh, they can uh, simply log into our parent website like uh, www.wedevs.com right. and we have a service uh, say yeah. um, uh, we love so uh, as they are seeing our display i can uh, show you where is the where is the browser okay so uh, this is basically here. Inshakarma. Hello. Hi there. Okay. Uh, I'll I, I'll take the questions uh, again after uh, seeing this. So this is the uh, basically. Can you uh, see this, please? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, this is the place you can uh, re uh, submit uh, your uh, custom project proposal. So uh, one of our business team will uh, reach you out soon with the, uh, after analyzing your uh, custom requires, requirements. So uh, Justin uh, had some question before we are um, cutting off on the last call. So, uh, do you uh, any, any of you have any other question? Uh, please, you can ask us here if we missed any of your question, or if you have any other um, uh, curiosity to know about WPRP or uh, us as a uh, company with apps. I'm going to set up a meeting with you guys. Uh so that we can dive into some more details about what we're doing rather than kind of jumping into this meeting. I'm just going to kind of continue to be a fly on the wall. Thank you guys very much. Yeah, thank you so much. Absolutely. We would love to give you time. If you can book our slot, I will definitely uh, reach you out and uh, give you the detail. Okay, uh, I can uh, provide the direct uh, personal meeting link at this moment. Uh, just, just please allow me a minute. So, uh, please paste that link. Hmm. Meeting link. Go <clears throat> up now. Hmm. 
Uh, here is the link basically uh, you can take personal meeting here my meeting schedule here okay i i think ashley has a question here uh, i purchased a whole packages for the one nine one ten thousand ninety nine but it is still ask me for an extension extension price is there any something i can want? uh maybe uh, you have not installed the extensions yet on your site yeah. i just uh, make, make, let me make it clear to you uh it you first need to install the wprp core from the wordpress.org and after completing the purchase you will get uh, if, as you mentioned you got the um, complete package so you should have 23 downloads uh, i mean individual whole individual extensions uh, on your wprp account so download them all and install one by one on uh, as a plugin. So after if you have uh, installed all uh, all those twenty three extensions, you know, the um, extension will not uh, ask you to install it further. I mean, uh, maybe I, uh, I I have I, I make it clear. Uh, but if you uh, have not got it yet clear, uh, you can uh, contact us further. Also uh, on your WP ERP account, you have a um, support section. You can reach us anytime. So, any other question, Mr. Uh, I think I can ask you one last question. Uh, well, uh, I think this is this question is uh, from one of your uh, here. Uh, they're basically looking for to learn more about the installation product improvements. So, can you give us a little bit uh, inside what is coming up in our? I mentioned earlier, but can you give us a little bit inside, like what features is coming up uh, in the next few? Uh, I can months? surprise you with one thing. Yeah, sure. I, I want to be surprised. Uh, actually, uh, we are planning to give a complete content solution for ERP uh, by 2021, I mean, uh, 2021, right. So uh, we, we have a strong desire to complete this in between the, this year and release the whole uh, complete um, enterprise solution uh, in the front end uh, in, the, um, in the next year, very uh, starting of the next year, January, right. January, February. So uh, it was the most demandable. People asked several times that uh, they uh, would be very happy to bring the uh, front end for CRM and uh, the same for the uh, accounting. As you know, we have already front end of, uh, for the ACRM. Wow. So uh, yeah, we are uh, br finally bringing the front end. Yeah, absolutely. That's CRM a great news to hear. I mean, we, as you mentioned, like we are we are coming up with a front end of CRM. HRM and accounting, right? Yeah, so basically, that seems like the we are something uh, we are bringing something very much uh, demand. We receive very much requests. Uh, we receive too many requests from the clients regarding the so, companies about this stuff, right? So it's it's, it's really very uh, exciting. I already yeah. I already saw the uh, mockups and designs. Yeah, this kind of uh, looks like uh, similar to the CS system. So I'm very excited with that. Right. Me too. Me too. Okay. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we have another questions. Uh, like Michelle has asked us. Let Let me read out for you. Do you have functionalities? To create organizational chat, I believe no. Uh, it's at this not moment. not at this not moment. At this moment. Uh, but we, it's already uh, have on our plan. Yeah, we, we have we have this uh, this feature on our pipeline. Well, uh, next asked uh, the next question asked by Ahmed. Uh, let's let me read out this question to you. Since WP ERP is built in the WP CRM uh, CMS, how do you plan to feature uh, how to for the cust uh, feature customizations? For different modules, um, I'm not completely uh, sure uh, what you mean. But uh, as I mean, if you are uh, known with the uh, WordPress uh, ecosystem and uh, the, as a CMS, 
WordPress and all the uh, plugins and uh, themes uh, for WordPress, I mean, everything related to the WordPress uh, is completely customizable, it's full, fully and hugely customizable. So, completely customizable. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you would if you would like to custom customize WP ERP in your OA or if you have any other uh, special requirements, you can surely surely do that. I mean, if I uh, get you right, or if I uh, if my answer have not uh, uh, got your um, question, or um, if you can ask it again. Okay, uh, I guess Michel have the another similar question. Uh, Michel has the further questions. Uh, this one. Yeah. Uh, how does the system manage the job changes, the promotion, transfer, etc., and terminations? Uh, I think I can answer this yeah, question. Sure. Uh, the termination, we can do the termination only, but we cannot manage the, we don't manage the, uh, you know, the promotion and stuff. Yeah. So at this moment, we just can do the termination stuff. You will see, but yeah. this, Excellent. this is a very good feature. We'd like to note, keep a note on this, and we, I believe, our R and D team is working on this sort of. Uh, uh, change job changes uh, uh, we actually, actually can do this like uh, we can change the salary frequently like uh, yeah, when, when, when it updated and we can also change the uh, employee by editing him uh, his uh, role or his department or designations so mm -hmm. uh, when uh, one uh, got promoted from uh, like say department uh, uh, let's say uh, on jump to the another department from sales to the business mm -hmm. so we can update the employee anytime and uh, change his department the uh, same uh, goes to the for the uh, designation as well so yeah. we have options for this okay uh, i think uh, mijan has a question very valid question here uh, what types of web hosting is necessary to run the wp uip for a company around 20 to 50 people uh, basically it is not um, necessary to have a, a very large scale uh, web hosting or web right. server for this if you have a running website uh, um, uh, built with WordPress, uh, so you can use the WPRP. It's uh, really not necessary to have a, any extra other um, um, capability for your uh, to uh, to run the WPRP. So it can be a physical server. It can be cloud, right? Uh, yes, it can host it anywhere. Yeah. Uh, WPRP also WPRP also can be hosted in the uh, both in the internet and internet. So uh, if you like to host it on your uh, internet server, so you can uh, do that as well. But I think but I can, as long as yeah, as long yeah. as your server can run a WordPress website, yeah, uh, yeah. you can run the WP. It doesn't necessarily to have like a you don't need to do the load testing and stuff like that. No, it's not necessary. As long you run the WordPress server, it can be managed like a project or fifty people. Yeah, unless yeah. you have a, a very large scale of uh, uh, CRM customers or the employee. Like say, if you have uh, five thousand or ten thousand employee on your server, mm. so uh, then uh, it, you will require a uh, yeah, better, better server. Better, better server. Better server. Better server. Better okay, I think I have another question uh, to ask you. Maybe uh, do you? Uh, there's another question. From Michelle, uh, like, do you how do you manage the compliance with the national and the local data collection and data management regulations and restrictions? I think she is talking about the GDPR policy. Uh, though he did not uh, mention the GDPR, but um, um, in the employee, uh, if I go to the individual um, modules, HR, CRM, and accounting, let's say in the employee. Employee data you you are getting from uh, directly to your uh, recruitment system, like when the employees are applying to your site, or if they are coming physically, so you you are inputting their data. Mm -hmm. So uh, no no problem at, at all here. Uh, in the CRM, if you think about the CRM, like say uh, we have integration with the contact forms. So uh, on uh, when submits the contact on your website. Uh, we can get uh, those par uh, this this person in our uh, contact, uh, CRM contact session. So we can collect data uh, 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 like this. And uh, if you uh, mention about the GDPR, so as long as we have uh, user account it's, uh, for the employees and for the CRM and other managers, mm -hmm. uh, we really have um, a concern about the uh, GDPR system. So uh, it's basically uh, normal as the other plugin does. So we have options to uh, um, to create a request for uh, user account deletion. Mm -hmm. If an employee or even any other user uh, request you as admin to delete delete uh, his account, 
uh, you can do it by collecting his email and uh, submit a account deletion request from the GDPR, uh, which comes uh, by default in WordPress. Right. So uh, after, uh, after you submitting the email address, the uh, employee or the user will get a, uh, get an email uh, with the confirmation link, and if they confirm, uh, the account will be deleted. Okay. As normal as the GDPR she's works. She's asking about not only the GDPR. She's also asking about E double E is E O C is for USA, I guess, uh, data protection rules or something like that. Yeah, uh, uh, we uh, um, have not implemented any um, uh, special uh, thing of for the EEOC yet, but uh, we are looking on uh, looking on it here. That's so far. Right. So I have another question from Ahmed. Uh, he's basically asking about uh, that. I want to know if I require a special a specific customized uh, custom requirement. How do I acquire as a lifetime user? Are there any priorities in your side while they will, uh, delivering such a requirement? Are you managing the CR? We do manage CR, change requests or change requirements, but uh, the prioritization that you mentioned, uh, do, you, do you mind to explain it? Any priority on your side? Okay, uh, as um, maybe Ahmed uh, missed, uh, I have uh, explained it already. We have a um, service to provide the customer the custom solution. If you have any custom requirements or if, if, or if you have any uh, extra requirements that needs for your uh, business. So uh, uh, you can ask, uh, you can request us uh, to, um, uh, or you can submit your uh, custom requirements as a project proposal to us. Uh, we have a dedicated team for this. Uh, so uh, our business team will uh, analyze your um, requirements and uh, they will provide you approximate budget of, uh, based on your uh, customization volume or customization thing. Uh, I have already provided a link uh, up, up of this conversation on how to uh, request for a uh, custom uh, project proposal. So uh, I am providing, uh, oh no, it's not this. Okay, uh, let me share it again. Here is the thing, you can uh, request us for a, a custom project custom proposal uh, uh, by going to this link directly. Right, uh, Michelle, do you have a class question? Uh, you showed us- uh, Dustin, one. before that, Dustin have a crime. I'm sorry I missed out uh, on if we are working on more hooks and more. Okay, Justin, uh, I think it's uh, more likely a technical question. Yes, uh, we are, uh, we, are always, we, we are always open to uh, have uh, available um, hooks. So if, if you think, if you are a developer, I guess if you are, you are a developer, so if you need any um, extra hook or something, if you need, I'm sorry, if you need, uh, we should consider that. Uh, you can ask us directly uh, or you can contact me or uh, the, uh, to, to our support team that uh, for your customization or based on your requirements, uh, um, you need a hook uh, for a, a special case. Uh, yeah, we'll surely add them. We, uh, we have done this previously. Uh, several people have asked extra hooks. Uh, so uh, we added them, uh, added for them. And we have another question. I think this is the last question we can we can take. Okay. Okay. Uh, Justin, I contact I I contacted to the support before, but we got my books and they have a limited reply. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Justin, just to uh, sorry for this uh, delay. I I I request you to send us another email uh, addressing uh, Mehdi. Uh, uh, yeah, he, he is very much I'm he's... sorry if you have um, if you have not got uh, this uh, previously, but uh, just uh, contact them again and uh, reference uh, with our conversation here the, that you need a, 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 yeah, action or hook, so we will provide them. Yeah, please do reach out. Uh, we'll definitely uh, try to solve your problem. Sure. All right. I guess this is the last thing we uh, can address today. Uh, uh, thanks everyone for having this webinar. We, this is the very first time we are will be doing this sort of events in upcoming months and upcoming days, maybe in two weeks. Uh, I believe you have uh, learned something. This is a very short time to explain a huge ERP what we have uh, right now. So we will try to be more organized and, and explain to you. Uh, like how things going around in the ERP system. So I believe you will be supporting us in your in future. Uh, we are very much happy to answer your 
email and if you have any further queries please do let us know we'll be in touch with you uh, as soon as possible thanks thanks for having this webinar thank you so much uh, yeah uh, another thing is we have a second webinar in uh, middle of the february uh, which will be based in um, uh, crm system mainly right. so we will try to uh, make the crm uh, webinar a little bit longer than uh, today's so uh, <laughs> as today was the first day uh, we may have um, uh, some errors uh, or uh, mistakes so i hope uh, uh, you will consider that and uh, thank you everyone thanks for your cooperation and take care you guys so, bye 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 bye